Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, uh, actually driving to get our uh, boar Cooney Cooney finally. He is ready, and uh, we're getting him from the same breeder that we got Wilma Whiskey Waddles from. <laughs> and uh, it's a little bit of a drive. They're located uh, southern Missouri, pretty deep in the hills. But uh, I don't mind doing the drive. Uh, Wilma's done great at home on the farm. She's been perfect. She loves tummy rubs. Just a great gill. Uh, Betty's doing great too. We got her from a different breeder. But uh, these guys had a, a litter of boars about the time I picked up Wilma. And uh, uh, he, he was too good to pass up. So I, I have no problem making the drive. It's about a four hour drive for us. But I'm, I'm doing it alone today because last time Addison came with me and uh, with all these bunny hills uh, driving, she got a little car sick to be expected so uh but yeah uh ashley's at home with the girls and frank and uh i think she's doing all the chores for us i did a little bit before i left but uh she's gonna go out and do all that while i'm gone and i'll show you when we get home with him and i can't wait to see how he does with the guilds i want to see how they interact and uh just uh <laughs> watch them just run around and play hopefully but yeah i'll uh, i'll show you guys once i get them like i said it's a little bit of a drive but once we get home it'll be worth it So we got the pigs, gave them some scraps, all the stuff we didn't eat, stuff that kind of went a little bad. Do you like feeding the pigs? Yeah. What's your favorite part? Uh, when they're eating it and, and us petting them when they're eating. You like to pet them? Yeah. Mom, I yeah. buy So stuff. there they are. Mom, I buy stuff. <laughs> Mama, I want to play at the playground. Mama. And then, and then it's can go play at the playground? Yeah, we're going to feed all the animals. Okay. So right now we give the pigs all the scraps. Yeah. And chickens and bunnies and a dog. Yeah. I feel like I can just watch them eat all day. What about you? Yeah. I think they're funny. All right. Come on. Let's go this way. Put that down. So an update from last videos that we made, um, we've got some bunnies now. Um, I will let Addison tell you the names because I can't keep up. Um, <laughs> we also moved, we um, hatched our incubator chicks and now they are getting bigger. So we had to move them um, and we wanted to move them somewhere where we can keep them contained, but yet still um, have a little more freedom than they did in their little bucket. So I'll have Addison tell you the names. Uh-oh, and the chickens are getting out. I'll have Addison tell you the names of the bunnies. It's chocolate. That's chocolate? Okay, here, let's get a better view. And that's, and, then, and that white one is Nella, and, and that brown one is peanut butter pretzel. All right. Oh, what about this, this little friend over here? What's this? It's, it's white and blacky. That's white and blacky? Yeah, white blacky. Uh, white blacky. 
it. <laughs> oh my goodness, chickens. Okay. Well, let's go get some food for them. No, Mom. You got catchers? Yeah. Oh, so close. Okay, I'll be quiet. Alright, we got this. You ready? No mom! No mom! We caught her. Here you go. Alright, she put her in now. <laughs> Look, there's chocolate. All right, ready? Put her in. Put the chicken in. Hurry up. Good job, girls. All right, let's go get some food, okay? Yeah, we'll get this open. Yeah, because there's no chicks in there. Nope, no chicks in here. So why is always walking? That's all right. Can you get the chicken food? Mom's gonna get the water. Like the cow's water. This window came in really good handy. Mom, but this is uh, we might top them off. Chickens. That's for the outside chickens. We gotta show everyone our inside chickens too, right? Yeah. Don't get it. That white chicken. Oh, yeah, sure. That little chicken, that white little chicken. Yeah, we like the little white chicken. Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy a black and white one. Yeah. With water, I'm going to hold it. Okay. I think the bunnies really like their cage. Yeah. I'll make sure that door's closed. <laughs> okay, Yeah, we got these from, um... A neighbor just a little bit down the road. He was selling them. Um, it was uh, the night before Easter, right? Yep, we were coming back from family Easter and it said pig. It said not pigs. I hear the pigs. It said bunnies, ten dollars. So we got four. And they've been really good. This was all full of grass and they cleared it all up in no time. Here's the other little bunny. All right, she's cute. Yeah. Hi, bunny. They're getting a lot better with the girls. Um, you want to come in, Abby? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Evelyn's still learning. She's She moves a little too quick for them, but Addison's been doing really good, going nice and slow, and... Try not to scare them too much, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think they're good on food. They're good on water. That's nice. That's a oh my goodness, chocolate. What are you guys doing? Just lounging. What a nice day to lounge. Say hi to the bunnies. Yeah? What the bunnies do? Do they hop? Um, oh, hello! No, What's this one's name again? Nilla. Nilla. Hey, Hi, Nilla. Hi, Nilla. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, she went under there. Guys, you have to do this when we to get her out. All right, hey, hold on. Let's put this down so <gasps> chocolate can come out. Oh, bye, chocolate. All right, let's go shut the hose off for the cows and let's uh, let's move on. Good job, Addie. You gotta hold the chicken. What's her name? 
Um, I think I called her Whitey. Whitey? Yeah. Okay. My, and, the, and that name is Whitey Browner. Whitey Browner? Yeah, and then <laughs> the, and that black one is Black Whitey. Okay. And then the uh, all black one, um, her is, um, her is, um, Peanut. Peanut! I like that name. It's a good name. And then, and then that white and that brown one with a brown deck, her name is Chocolate Chip. Chocolate Chip. Hey, good job. girl. All right, let's go shut the cow water off, okay? really driving out like this I mean out in the country on many adventures you're gonna do getting animals and livestock such whatever you have on your farm take your time soak it in I mean uh, look at the different fences they have it's really nice the creativity that people come up with for their homesteads and their farms uh, sometimes you'll see a gate somebody made out of different supplies than you'd ever think of you know and it's really neat or even entryways to your farm and we're all just learning from each other. You know, what, whatever works for them might not work for you on your farm, but sometimes, a, a lot of the time, you'll uh, you'll get good ideas off of other people, and that's what we're here for, just to learn from each other and use what works. And, it, you know, it's a community thing. That's what I've always liked about living out in the country and owning animals, and everybody gets it, you know. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing when people can work together you know, mix their creative ideas and get together. And uh, being a small farmer like us, uh, we can't do a lot of things. And uh, what we can do, we we learn just by trying. And uh, you know, we, me and Ashley, both work full time jobs. And uh, it, we love to do farming full time, but being a small farm, it, it's hard. And, uh, but the love for it, we keep going and keep trying, and uh, we just enjoy it so much. And you gotta do it when you can, and make sure you have the time to take care of your animals right. And efficiency is the best way to do that. Uh, so any idea I can get, whether it's a gate or a, a barrel water or a, a different trough feeder or you know a way to store the hay or. I'm all up for all the ideas. I appreciate any comments or, you know, any suggestions at any time. Uh, we always are open to that. We're learning like everybody. You know, you can do this. It's just like anything. I paint cars for a living. And, you know, even though I've been doing that for years, I don't know everything. You never know everything. And somebody's like, well, there's always another idea out there, and it's great to listen to. So... Just keep that in mind on your farming adventure. If you guys are homesteading or farming, it's just like anything else you do in life. There, there'll always be somebody who knows something you don't, or somebody you can help out with your ideas. So. Yeah. What's up, pussy cat? How's it going? Oh yeah, you like your butt scratched. Booty, 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 booty. Where's your friends? Yeah, so we got some friends to join you, huh? I don't know if they were just wandering around, but we saw some other cats here. They were hanging out in the barn. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah, so you're our only farm cat, huh? Keep it that way. It's a good kitty. Ready to go in? Hi. 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 Uh. <laughs> oh. Yes, I will get your popsicle. <laughs>
Thank you for hugs. Oh no, that's yucky. <laughs> that's for cleaning. That's yucky. Oh no, he's running. Running! Forest! So over the weekend we had some chickens get out. And we had our rooster get out. You can see him. He's all the way over there. So he uh he made himself a free-range chicken. So all the other ones are gone. So we have named him Forrest. Forrest Gump. Because he just kept on running. I'm in a forest now. I cannot see him. No, yeah, now he's, he's behind the trees. Yeah. It's been funny. The cows have been playing with him. Of course, they're on the other side. Yeah. Eating. I probably do not see this. Yeah. Okay. Mom, I found a big feather from him. Wow, yeah, that's from the turkey. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think I hear <laughs> baby crying. Just a quick little look. turkeys we didn't record it but we gave them we gave them a little bit of feed and got the eggs Yeah, they tried chasing the turkey and well, Forrest, Forrest won. So, he's free range chicken now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. He likes party with the cows. All right, I just picked up Fred, the Cooney Cooney boar, and uh, he is cute as can be. He's a little bitty guy. Uh, and I can't wait to show him to you. He needs a good bath. He, he's a pig, like any other pig. He's a... Uh, all muddy and dirty and that, full of life so when we get home i'm gonna try to give him a bath and then i'll uh show them to the girls and we'll see how they react it's gonna be awesome i can't wait and i know addison and evelyn are gonna just they're gonna love it so i can't wait to see the reaction let's uh let's make this trip a good one and let's get home and you know that piggy smell, man, that stench. Woo! That's some dedication for four hours. Woo! Should have brought my freaking clothes pins, man. You know, one on each nostril almost. It's hard to get rid of that smell. There's no amount of windows to, to block that out, you know? Even a baby pig. They just got that odor. You know? That's all right. We're going to make it. Keep on chugging along. Can anyone else relate to this? Having to heat up their coffee for 7,000 times. Yes, baby. You ready for me to come back? I just want some coffee, girl. Hi. Come on, I'll come back outside. Come on. Cheers. Queen of the Kingdom. That's me. Got this from a friend from work a while ago. That's only when I had two kids. I guess everyone's staying inside. So yeah, pretty much the rest of the day, we just kind of hang out. Um, that's only half of our farm chores. 
Um, I try to incorporate the girls as much as I can. <laughs> so the reason why we make these videos is we want to share our experiences with you guys. Um, we want to learn from you guys as well. Um, <laughs> You know this is something we just do on the side we both work full-time ah, ah, mine's a little, a little more part-time um but we both have jobs during the day um and then we're not working we're taking care of kids so um it's really as learn as we go kind of thing okay i'll look for you in a second <laughs> i don't know what take this is anymore <laughs> Enjoying your bath? <laughs> oh, he's a cutie boy. He's a cutie boy. Oh. Alright, we get you out. We get you out. Hey guys, sorry, the wind was really crazy here. Uh, it was blowing too hard and it's, you can't understand what we're saying, but I'm just explaining to the girls uh, what we're doing with Freddie and how we're going to keep him in the pen and keep him separated for a little bit and just watch and see how he does with the girls. <laughs> Uh, 
hopefully it goes smooth. We're just gonna keep them uh, isolated for a little bit. And maybe tomorrow I'll let him out with the two girls and see how he does, see how they treat him. Cause they are quite a bit bigger as you guys saw. And I don't want them to bully him or anything. So we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll keep him safe in here for right now. I'm so happy with him. I think he's gonna be great. <laughs> Why'd you Freddy? Oh, you're jumping on me? Well, friends, after that trip, I'm going to be outside for the rest of the day and play with the kids. I hope you have a great weekend and uh, enjoy it while it lasts. All right, until next time, we'll see you later. See you guys. Whoa!